Hey, all right, welcome to these HTL bits videos. Uh, so let's do the next uh, problem. So the next problem is called NOT gate. Uh, it says create module implements NOT gate. And then down here we've got NOT module. So let's just read the problem. When making the connection from wire into the wire out, we're going to implement an inverter instead of a plain wire. And then we've got a diagram here, and then we've got an in and then out, and then an inverter. And that's what we have. So we've got this concept of gates, and gates are things that you can put uh, between two wires, and it changes, uh, or, or actually it can be more than two wires, and it changes the value. So here we are doing a NOT gate. Okay, so this is a NOT gate, or an inverter. And it basically has one input coming in there, and then one output going in there. And what it does is whatever comes in here, one or zero, the opposite value will come out here. So if we feed in a one, then the output will be zero. And if we feed in a zero, then the output will be one. All right, um, we write this using the tilde sign. So basically, let's say we've got an assign, right? So let's say we've got b equal a, right? So if we do assign b equal a, we're saying take y a and connect it to y b. Now, if we do tilde, this means not. So what this says is take the value of a, invert it so if it's one make it zero if it's zero make it one and then assign that inverted value to b okay now reminder this is a continuous assignment so that means this doesn't just happen once it means like if a now later if a is one now then b is zero if a now changes to zero then b will change to one and we don't have to run run this statement again this is a continuous assignment it represents a circuit in hardware which is continuously just taking the input and changing it to be the invert of the input. So zero becomes one, one becomes zero. Uh, what else? We can write this using a thing called a truth table. So let's do that. You know what? I should probably make this writing bigger. Right, and then we can make this thing called a truth table. So we have an input and we have an output. Sometimes we might call this like A. In fact, yeah, let's call this A. And uh, there's two possible inputs, right? We can have zero or we can have one, right? And then for each input or set of inputs, then we have the output. So basically when A is zero, the out is one. And when A is one, then the output is zero. All right, so this is a truth table. Uh, let's label that with truth table. All right, so this is a truth table for not. So when A is zero, the out is one. And when A is one, the output is zero. This is how we write a not in Verilog. It's with this tilde sign, which is, it's like the key just to the left of the one and you have to press like maybe shift or something to get it. All right, so then let's look here. Yeah, so we've got an input, we've got an output and we're just gonna have to change the output to be the inverse of the input. Uh, all right, so that's that. So let's display the pause slide and then you can go and do the problem. All right, so I'm gonna assume that you've attempted the problem. If you haven't, no worries. Uh, so very simply, uh, we just, we're gonna do an assignment and we're gonna do the, the output. So this is the sink and then the driver is in. Uh, but we need to invert the driver. So we're just gonna put this tilde in front of it. So assign out equal uh, not in. I guess I read this as not. Uh, all right, so let's submit that. All right, success. And then here, let's look at this diagram, all right? So we've got in, which is zero, and then one, and then zero, and then one. We've got our out and the, the what should be the out, and they match, which is why the mismatch is zero, which is why it's success. Right now, every time the in is zero, the out is one. Every time the out is, the in is one, the end, the output is zero. So remember, I mean, we just run it with, this is our entire module. This statement just exists once. And then whenever the input changes, the output will change to reflect the change in the input without, like, this just happens. 
Cool. All right. So if you've got any questions, please put those into the comments. If you've got any comments or suggestions, also into the comments. Uh, if you liked the video, please click like uh, and please consider clicking on subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.